We're here on beautiful Yalakut Wheelam country on the Elwood foreshore. I spent a lot of time here tracking and tracing and, and listening and following the native birds. Nai Kootenya, Kent Morris Upper, Barkindji Wimperture. Hi everybody, my name's Kent Morris, a proud Barkindji man. Barkin means river and we are people of the river. And that's the Darling River, or as we like to refer it, the Darling Barker. A number of images from my Sovereign Second series were shot right here on Yalakut Wheelam country. Yalakut Wheelam means people of the river. So I'm very fortunate and feel very honoured to be living on this country. This area has been significantly reshaped since the impacts of colonisation. And what Sovereign Seconds has at its heart is around listening and understanding that there was already and still exists 65,000 plus years of knowledge and philosophy. One of the important reasons for sharing this work is to create discussions. So I'd like people to think from a perspective that we are all connected together, not only as people, but as all living creatures, from the ground to the sea, to the sky, all the plants and animals, and we are part of that narrative and that ecosystem. Inextricably linked to my art and cultural practice is my work at an organisation called The Torch, which began over 12 years ago. We're here at The Torch Gallery on Wadanjeri Country, and I'm here in my role as the CEO of The Torch. The Torch works in all prisons in Victoria to support First Nations men and women on their journey to remove themselves from the criminal justice system, to realise their potential. 30 artworks by artists connected to the Torch program are currently on display at the Franklin Street frame site. See the distinctive styles of the southeast, the geometric patterns and line works. The series starts off with Bunjil and Wa, the creators of this country. More broadly, these artworks share cultural journeys from men and women creating change for themselves, their families and the community. The artworks, the products, the ideas that they're expressing, this brings us together. And it's only through working together that we can start to resolve and unravel this complex system of incarceration of First Nations Australians. Another critical element in the success of the TORCH program has been the wisdom and knowledge from the extraordinary elders that continue to provide their support and inspiration. 